Good evening, this is Thai PBS World Daily. After a hiatus, mainly because the majority of protest leaders have been charged with and locked up for last Mother's Day and other crimes while they await trial, a rally is being held this evening. Today marks the second anniversary of the August 10, 2020 protest, the first time the 10-point demand for reform of the monarchy was made. Amnesty International Thailand and other human rights advocates rallied in front of the Ministry of Justice today to submit a petition asking the minister to consider releasing all activists being held on remand for expressing political opinions deemed to offend the monarchy or threaten national security or public order. Many of the detainees were charged with Les Majeste violations of the Computer Crime Act and illegal assembly, among others. Deputy Prime Minister Prawit Wongsuwan said that Prime Minister Prayut chan Shah may be able to remain in office for two more years if the Constitutional Court rules that his eight-year term does not end by August 24th. General Prayut became Prime Minister on August 24, 2014 after staging a coup. Opinions vary widely as to whether his term should be counted from 2014 or 2017 when the current constitution came into effect, or even 2019 when he was voted in by MPs and senators for a second term. The Monetary Policy Committee, one of the main policy bodies of the Bank of Thailand, decided today to increase the policy rate by 0.25% to 0.75% with the immediate effect. The committee believes that the economy does have a tendency to rebound, especially considering the increasing number of tourists, and that it will return to a pre-COVID-19 condition by the end of this year. There is, therefore, no need to ease monetary policy further. Thailand's Prince Sensation 16-year-old Poripon Bunsan has been named by World Athletics as a number one 100-meter sprinter in the under-18 age group with a record of 10.09 seconds. Set at the 2022 World Athletics U20 Championships in Colombia last Tuesday, according to the World Athletics website. An online campaign has been launched to persuade the authorities to provide financial support so he can be trained abroad by international coaches alongside the world-class athletes. And that's all the top stories for today. You can follow us on social media and our website, thaipbsworld.com, for all the latest updates about Thailand.